Today we're in the sunny town of Tiverton in Mid Devon. Now we're looking at a property with a guide price of £150,000. Now you might be thinking to yourself, what can I get for £150,000? Well, with a bit of determination and imagination, you might be surprised. So we're outside a 1920s style townhouse and to be honest you are going to have to spend a bit of your hard earned cash to get this property up to speed and to make a profit. Maybe some work on the windows, perhaps a new front door. But the thing that's got me really excited are some of the hidden gems lurking inside. So our surveillance team has brought us here to the local DIY store. We're on the trail of cowboy builder Charlie Stokes. We know that he's in the building right now. Whether he's buying some supplies for his next box job, we don't know. But he's been ripping people off across the area. And we're just waiting, I'm just waiting for the call um, from one of our surveillance guys to tell us when he's going to be leaving the building. As I say, we know he's here. And the idea is, is we're going to try and follow him and hang on a second. That's the call right now. That's the call. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. This is the car we need to follow just up ahead and we're hopefully going to trail him back to his place of work or at least find out where he lives so we can ask him a few more questions. Why he's been ripping so many people off, uh, why he's been leaving people with jobs that are half done, uh, jobs that aren't up to scratch. He's upset a lot of people in this area. Red light. We've lost him. Ultimately, huge disappointment and frustration that we haven't managed to catch up with Mr. Stokes, a man who's been doing shoddy building work left, right and centre. This time, he was saved by a change of the lights. Next time, he won't be so lucky. But just remember, don't waste your notes on Charlie Stokes. This must be a busy time of the year for you as well. I know you're still touring, you're out and about almost every weekend um, across the country, but this must be the time of year as well that the phone rings non-stop because people want your take on Eurovision. Is that the case? Do you get bored of talking about it? Do you get bored of like, oh, here's another one? Yes, what, what do you want, sort of thing? Yeah, you're right. It's, um, it's just about the busiest time, always this time of year. But, but then just the actual Eurovision week, then it kind of builds up with... Radio interviews is the main main thing then, and then what we're, you know, they're chasing me around the country, so I'll be stopping off the side of roads and doing a few interviews and stuff like that. So we can't tempt you to come back to Eurovision. You've made your mind up on that front, but it's just a case over the next few years of enjoying yourself and, and keeping the Bucksford's name out there. Well, we we do enjoy. I've always enjoyed actually performing on stage. So um, although I still we still record not. Not as Bucks Fizz. We record most of the things we record now are for maybe a you know an advert or a, a jingle or something. So uh, and if I'm writing, I'm usually doing it for a particular job. 